Hey everybody, just a quick update on how the goldfish are getting on because I haven't posted a video in ages, I just moved house. Um, and with moving house, I had to move a load of the fish tanks and stuff. And to be honest with you, it was an absolute nightmare. So I said, rather than you know pulling apart and setting up all these new tanks again and having my heart broken, I said I'd make these guys an 850 litre indoor pond um, so that they can uh, enjoy that because. Ah, uh, it was just, I had them in the different tanks and moving tanks, if any of you have had to do some moving tanks before, you'll, you'll know, it's an absolute nightmare. So I'm just going to go through what we've got in here really quickly, um, and uh, give us a quick idea of what we have going on. So I've got a couple of absolutely gorgeous, now, it's really hard to tell, um, because this pond, it's about, uh, it's like I said, it's 850 litres, so it's a big pond, it's about a metre deep, I actually reaching over the edge, I can't reach the bottom of it. Um, we we'll start off with the kind of pond itself first, so I have a sponge filter, sponge filter, I have uh, an inlet for a uh, filter, a canister filter there, and going down there, uh, two outlets just there. Um, the two of them are good for filtering this pond, and then I've got just the extra biological sponge filters. Um, and it gets about a 30% water change to 50% water change every two to three days. So the water's good and clean. And that's for keeping good wen growth, because we've got some beautiful wens going on here. Um, I just have standard aquarium sand down the bottom, and a couple of uh, just rocks in there you can see actually i have to pull this out but i can't, I can't reach it at the moment uh, that is a spray bar which fell in and i need to get it back out now as you can see i've got uh, an idea and i've got uh, water sprite or indian fern there they're growing really well actually uh, the guys keep on uprooting the uh Lydia and it floats and i leave for a day or two it's not the only thing floating, uh, Captain Lazy Bones is floating here, I'll talk about him now in a second. But it keeps on floating, the plants keep floating up, and I just pulled them back, and I set up um, a weight on them, and I dropped them again, and pull them up. Okay, so, Captain Lazy Bones here, Captain Lazy Bones, is swimming back down. Captain Lazy Bones has a bit of a swim bladder problem, um, his body is like a, he's got a really, really odd shaped body, his body is super stunted. And unfortunately, he just constantly suffers from swim bladder problems now i got him because i knew that like n nobody was going to look after him. he wouldn't last long with his body shape now he's grown he's doing well he's changing color he's getting some gold around his bum there you can see um but he keeps on floating up this week he's having a tough week now i must make a video on it but um basically I epsom salt dips and or tonic salt baths and I drop them in there for kind of three, four minutes um, with a handful of Epsom salt, just mixed in with some of the, you can see he's gone gold there, and he has a cool, his, his when is just, it comes across top of his mouth, he's awesome. But I give him Epsom salt baths, I'll have to do a thing about that because they're really good, they help um, they help flush them out. There's another fish here that's not doing super great, um, not him, but you can see the one down the bottom, still a little bit lethargic, he was the last one to get moved in, uh, along with, let me see if I could find them. Um, okay, so that white aranda, um, that white aranda with just a little tiny red dot on his head, which is also super cool. And do, 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 one more around you, where's he gone? Oh, down the bottom there with the white stripe. You can see he's just got a tiny bit of black on his tail. Oh, uh, where's he gone? He's hiding. There he is, in the middle. Get that guy there. Down the bottom. Yeah, there he is. He's awesome, he's super cool. But, um, yeah, they had a bacterial infection, so they were the last ones to go in. Now, since they went in, he looks tiny, but he's actually probably about five inches long. He's he's a nice sized fish down the bottom. Um, he's just still really lethargic now. Uh, it took a good few weeks to get, the get rid of the bacterial infection that they had, and then I had to keep them separated for a while after. But he's quite lethargic, so I'm keeping an eye on him. He's he's eating not a whole lot but he's doing all right okay so this guy here he's a rescue he you can see he doesn't have a fin his front right fin is missing there's no growth whatsoever didn't develop from birth it's kind of funny he's a weird swimmer like he's actually a good swimmer now when i got him at first he was only small and he was to turn around he was flipping upside down it was crazy looking he looked awesome in the tank but um he's doing really well he's actually a really good swimmer he, i reckon he's gonna be cool and he's a bigger fish but he actually swims quite well ah captain lazy bones I hope he's feeling a bit better. This guy here is cool, this big guy. Ah! Okay, here's one of the big pearl scales. That pearl scale 
is about five inches, five and a half inches long. It's a really big pearl scale. I've got three big pearl scales. Uh, there is another one that's another five and a half inch long pearl scale. And then she's about four inches long. She's beautiful. She's got a really symmetrical pattern on her back. She's amazing. Uh, this one will be a big female. She was one of the first big females to start breeding in my tank. She is beautiful. Um, this guy here is absolutely awesome. He's now that fish. Um, that fish, they're about seven inches long. Um, seven, eight inches. Uh, this guy here is about eight inches long. As is this guy here. I say, guy, she's a girl and she's beautiful. Look at her. So nice. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This pearl scale, she's beautiful now. I think something was trying to breed with her last night. Where's she going? There she is. Um, because you can see, look at that little bit of blood streak on her back. Ah, if I find out who done that, you'd have been in trouble. Um, but uh, I had a, f I had a Ranchu try breed with her a couple of weeks ago. Literally, like just after I put her into the tank. Um, oh god, she's beautiful. But you can see just that little bit of blood streak, and so I'll have to keep an eye on her, make sure she's okay. Um, because she's not a super great swimmer, so when something kind of goes for her. She tends to kind of get battered into a corner. And that's something you have to be really careful of when you're mixing goldfish that don't swim well with other goldfish that do swim quite well. As if you have a female and she can't swim well, she can't really get away from an aggressive male. So and there is a mixture of males and females in here, but look at her. Oh my God, she's, she's so nice. She's absolutely stunning. I can't wait till she's big. She's probably about three inches long at the moment, but when she gets big, she's gonna be absolutely awesome. We got loads of babies. We got loads of little baby pearl scales. Oh, you can see here's two of the little um, telescopes and telescope mirrors. They're really cool. They're nice. And um, there's three of them in there in total. And um, this guy here was chocolate colored up until last week, and now he's just gone darker. He's gone a little bit darker. Um, there he is down there. Aren't you? He was. He's awesome. You can see. It's a little bit of a shine to him, but he's, he is gone there. Um, there's a couple of small jet black yeah, around you, as you can see. There we go. Jet, like jet, jet black. There's one that's really unusual. He's got like two gold dots on his back where he's two reflective, um, two reflective scales. This guy's cool. He's nice big. I think, I think maybe a male. Um, a red cap in here. Go red cap, he's really cool. Um, got a couple of these guys, Calico. He's amazing, look at his eye. Oh my God, he's, he's, he's got one, just his eye is crazy looking. I love it, it's cool. He was actually really cool in the tank. Hey bud. Oh, this, um, this Chinese style red cap is awesome. Look at him. Look at him. So cool. There's a big fish again. That's another like, maybe six, seven inch fish. Seven inches, I'd say. Um, has a nice tail as well. Um, a tricolor Aranda. She's grown really well, actually. When I got that fish, it was really okay. Where's she going? This girl here, down here, down the bottom. As one down beside me, pearl scale. She's chilling out. She is. I'll see if we can get her excited. Get her up. No, she's just chilling out. Um. She's so lazy. Oh my God, she's so lazy. But in fairness, she puts a lot of effort in when she's getting fed and stuff like that. And um, they did just get fed a little while ago. I had to feed them because they were just like lunatics when I came in. But um, oh look at him. Look at this fella. It's coming on really nice uh, since I got him. Really, really nice. Especially considering he had a really bad bacterial infection. You wouldn't even know now. He's stunning. Hey, pearl scale. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, so um, the big one down there. Jeez, I'm really putting my phone into the water. Um, the big one down there, she has like the most impressive wang grow of them all. She's got a beautiful calico body. Uh, her wen is actually covering her left eye, which makes it a bit more difficult for her to find food. And she has wen growth in her mouth. You have to keep an eye on. But a third of her mouth is full of wen, uh, which is something that I just have to keep an eye on because, look, it can be removed. Um... You can do like when surgery. I'm not worried about covering her eye, um, but I just don't want it to block the inside of her mouth. Hey, bud, how are you getting on? Um, this guy here was totally gonna go in the pond. He's about seven, eight inches long. He's about eight inches long now. He went into the pond, but I, he was just way too much fun. I decided to keep him in here. Uh, I say the pond, I mean the outdoor pond, uh, because his body has gone much more white against the sand. 
Um, so the black dots were just standing out more. Oh, he's cool. He was really lethargic. He was a real lazy fish when I got him, but I don't know. He just he, he's really come out of a shell. He was actually a bit skinny when I got him as well. Um, he was kind of a little bit of kind of wastage around the top of his mouth and his tail. Just he looked a bit skinny, but he's coming on really well now. Oh my god, he's and he's grown. He's grown. He's doing super. Um, what have we got? We've got a couple of. Oh my god, I love these guys. So look at this guy here. Now, if he had a perfectly symmetrical. Uh, yellow uh, stripe on his back he'd be amazing but look at the wing growth on his head it's like a little bulldog or something he is so cool you see I'm not sure but look at those scales on his back they're just so shiny they're gorgeous they look like real gold Um, yeah that's that female there she is beautiful I love her she's so nice Um, anybody I've missed Um. We've got a, a quick, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pass the camera around. We're gonna have a look at everybody. I'll let you guys just have a quick look. But that's it, that's a kind of a quick update on the pond, how we're getting on. You can see we've lots in here. Um, I'd show you around, but it places in a state. Like I said, it was a moving house. Um, but at 850 liters, even though, you know, it's still heavily stocked, they're getting lots of water changes, good filtration. Um, so they are, yeah, they're having a great time in here. Great growth. We've seen like really good wing growth still on, on, on them since they've gone in. Better than when they were in the tanks, to be honest, which even though they were getting water changes practically every day in the tanks. Um They're just doing really, really well. So that's it guys. Um let me know who your favourite is. That'd be awesome. Um I know some people like fancy goldfish can they can really divide like people have really strong opinions on what they like and what they don't. Um, oh, I gotta be honest, I just love all of them. I think they're amazing. Um, but yeah, let me go. Let me know what you think, who you like, who's your favourite in the comments. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye bye.